Hey, Ben, is Bryce. How's everything? Everything is great, Bryce. How's it going, man? What's on your mind? Doing good. Just leaving work. Um, so, a uh, great interview from, 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 from the professor. Great interview tonight. Thanks, um, I understand everything you said, and of course, what you're just saying now. But here's my only thing. When it comes to Obama, no doubt I want him to do more than he did. And mm -hmm. no doubt we know how the system can be or the establishment. You can say it. And, you know, a lot of stuff that he went through. And, you know, it's just politicians, black politicians in general. But the only thing is, it's like when we, when we put Obama in office, we wanted him to be, as I said before, the superhero. I wanted him to be this one guy, okay, you're the first black president, so once you do everything, you're going to set the timeline, and it's, it's all to you. And it's like, yeah, I felt like that's like, I feel a bit crazy, because what about all other politicians, you know? And so we have to come together if we can't put on this one person. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not I'm never a person to make excuses for people at all. I'm just saying that we have to do things together, not just put on one guy and one man, one woman. And then, you know, we want people to participate in politics, but we have a lot of black people that come out even from our cops community and say, don't vote, screw the system. It ain't going to change the white man is that, 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 yeah. and the third. And trust me, I understand all the issues and things in our history, but if we change a lot of things for the years, we can still change it now. And I just don't, I just think that we have too many voices that's just so negative. You know, and I understand where they're coming from, Mm -hmm. or things, oh, excuse me, but it's like, what about the bigger picture? And if we come together, we can change it. But nobody wants to come together. We just tear each other down or we'll say this or say that. So, I mean, it's a catch-22. I've got to hold it right there, Bryce. Thanks so much for the call, man. Um, um, absolutely uh, hear what you're saying. Um, and. Dog, I'm sorry, I, uh, six uh, one seven. I missed you. Also, let me let me address what you're saying, Bryce. Um, the the fact of the matter is that um, you know we can't look at President Obama um, because he told us not to. He told us that he's not the, um, as Professor Glaude said, the Manchurian candidate of black anger and black revenge, right? That's not who he is. He was not. He did not come in. He made that clear. So I think it's 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 un, it's okay to understand that. President Obama was never what some people try to make him to be, but that doesn't put him above the critique of the fact that he is the um, he, he is the standard bearer of this false religion of meritocracy. He's the standard bearer of um, of this neoliberal economic paradigm. Like just because I'm fully aware that President Obama was going to be a status quo uh, president. I was fully aware of that in 2008. I have no uh, disillusionment of uh, or disappointment even in his performance because I knew exactly who he was going to be because he told us exactly who he was going to be. However, that doesn't negate my ability to fundamentally critique him from um, the fact that he is carrying out the very functions of the presidency that I vehemently disagree with. The facilitator of this economic paradigm without any regard to how it affects labor, without any regard to how it affects the working class and those in poor. I, I knew he was going to do it, right? I'm not disappointed in him for doing something that I thought he wasn't going to do. He did exactly what I thought he was going to do, but that doesn't change the fact that I still have a problem with what he's done in so many regards. Um, now, I still love him. I still respect him. I still, you know, support him, but I still have a fundamental disagreement with the role of the presidency. And uh, we've talked about that ad nauseum on, on this show, that it's the role and the, 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 the job, the, the capacity that the White House um, facilitates. It's there to, ex to continue our foreign policy. It's there to continue our economic policy without any variations, just small standard deviations away from the norm. Um, that's what the role of the presidency is. Um, I understood that about Obama. I, he's doing a great job doing exactly that. I just happen to disagree with that. Doesn't mean I don't like him. Doesn't mean I disrespect him. I just fundamentally disagree with um, any president who's going to continue this paradigm and not challenge this paradigm because this paradigm paradigm has proven to be detrimental to people of color, 
to white people, poor people. It's, it's detrimental to anyone who was born outside of means.